Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Um, I feel like we haven't done a sit-down video in a little bit, but I'm so excited because these are my favorite type of videos to watch. I don't even know exactly what I'm titling this video because, I don't know, this is for my current baby and then for all my kids to come. So, I just want to start off by saying that obviously I have a bunch of friends who show their kids online and I respect their decision because above all, I think every mom makes the best choices for herself, her family, and her kids. So, when I say any of the things that I'm about to say, I don't want you guys to think that I'm judging any other mom because one thing you learn with motherhood is when I was pregnant with SJ, I remember even before I was pregnant when I would think to myself, oh, I, I'm going to have a kid one day and I don't know if I'm ever going to show them because I didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl. But I'd be like, I don't know if it's something that I ever want to do, you know? Now, obviously, when I watch other people's content, other, other people's content, I love seeing their babies. I love seeing the cute family content. I love seeing their babies laugh, their babies do different things because watching kids online and watching my like creator's kids grow up and stuff, like it's amazing. Not only do you get to see your favorite creator become a mother or a parent, you also get to see the way they parent you get like tips and tricks and you get to sympathize with them because you're like, oh, look, this person that I watch online, she does things exactly like I do with her kids. Or you just pick up different tips and tricks. So before I got pregnant, I used to show my nieces here on YouTube. And you guys know my nieces. Um, I'm not even gonna say their names, but I used to show my nieces here on YouTube. And anytime I would go hang out with them, I would show them and it was super fun and I loved it. Now, I remember there was a time where my cousin, their mom, told me, she reached out to me and she told me, hey, like, um, one time I posted a video of me and my niece dancing and I thought it was innocent. Like, I thought it was innocent. I thought it was like super like, oh, it's cute. It's me and her dancing. But her mom reached out to me and her mom was like, hey, do you mind taking that video down? Because I just feel uncomfortable with like having her dancing on the internet. Like, I guess she fell, fell down a rabbit hole on TikTok and she found out that people make videos that are supposed to be innocent like that. They make them to not be innocent. So, of course, my cousin was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I know, like, you, like, she was very apologetic about asking me to take the video down. And I basically told her right away, I was like, please do not apologize. You do not have to apologize for anything. Like, this is your kid and you get to decide exactly how you want your kid to be portrayed online because every mom knows best for her kid. And so immediately I took the video down. So I asked her about the rest of the content and she said, um, no, it's fine. Like just the video dancing is what kind of threw me off. And I was like, okay, no problem. Now, when that happened, it kind of made me curious about like what my cousin was talking about because I was like, it was just a video of her and I dad. Like I'd never tried to excuse it. But it just made me curious because I was like, if my cousin is worried about her kid dancing online, like I've seen, and like my niece was fully clothed. Like she was like in sweats and a t-shirt. Like it wasn't like she was wearing anything quote unquote provocative, you know, as if kids could be provocative. They can't. Um, so it just made me curious. And I started doing research because I was like, okay, like I need to know what my cousin's talking about, right? Because I want to be a mom someday, etc. So this is when I got led down a rabbit hole on TikTok, you guys, of just things that I wish I wouldn't have seen because it made me so, so sad. It made me so, so paranoid and it just made me not ever want to show my kids online. Now, trigger warning, obviously, please watch this at your own discretion because it's stuff that it's hard to talk about but anyway so basically i found out on tiktok that videos that you guys like you and i see as normal videos like it could be a video of you dancing with your toddler literally nothing provocative just waving your hands up in the air dancing to like a kid song and there will be someone online who finds that and finds your kid attractive I know, disgusting, disgusting, because you and I are not watching a video of a four-year-old dancing and thinking, oh my God, this is so attractive, hell no. You and I are watching that and thinking, oh my God, look how cute, there she is with her daughter or with her niece or with her baby or whatever, right? Now, unfortunately and fortunately, the internet is a huge place, a huge place. And so 
you cannot control the way people interact, watch, or have to do with the content that you put out. And one thing we know about the internet is once you put something out there, it's forever, right? It's forever. Now, when I started doing research and doing research, I mean like watching TikToks about this, um, I realized like there's anything, basically anything that you think is innocent, like you're sharing an innocent video of your baby, somebody can make it and think about it in a disgusting way. And it makes me so sad to think about it because you can share a video of your baby like, oh, look, they're eating their food. And somebody will literally take that and turn it into something it's not. And that literally makes my skin crawl and it makes me so, 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 so sad. Now, I remember at the time there was this creator online on TikTok, huge creator, huge creator. And she would share a lot of videos of her daughter and basically people were telling her online like dude people are taking those videos of your daughter and they're putting them on like websites for sick people i don't even want i don't know what i could and cannot say here on youtube but i'll just say websites for sick people and you know what i'm talking about and people were telling her like you need to stop uploading videos like this because she would do videos where like and i'm not judging this mom you know i just want to think she didn't know any better but she would do videos like she would take her daughter to the fair and then when she was at the fair she would have her daughter eat foods that were like questionable again maybe the mom didn't think anything bad about it but people obviously turned it into something that it wasn't so for example the little baby girl would be eating like corn dogs and bananas and just things like that and obviously you and i see a video of a little girl eating that stuff and we don't think bad because why would we but someone on the internet some sick person is looking at that content and going oh my god this is amazing i can't believe this content is free and i cannot i cannot bring myself to think i don't know i just it's it's too much it's too much to even talk about it so basically, um, I got pregnant and when I was pregnant, I consumed that content a lot. Like there's this mom on TikTok, her name is Mom Uncharted. And basically her whole, her whole TikTok is about protecting children online and making sure that people don't use their children. A lot of times for family channels and stuff, the videos with the kids in them do really well. And you think to yourself, oh my God, look, I had a baby and all of a sudden my videos started doing really well but a lot of times the videos are not doing very well because all of a sudden you got more interesting a lot of these videos that are doing really well are doing really well because they end up in the wrong kind of websites so for example there's been times like i got really deep into this there's a bunch of youtube videos if you want to watch you know but there'll be videos where like a family's having, oh, family pool day or family barbecue. And there's a little girl in the family and she's wearing a bathing suit, right? You and I don't think anything of it because we see little girls in bathing suits and we're not sick in the head. We're not thinking bad to ourselves. But then all of a sudden that video, let's say the family's channel would get typically like 5,000 views. All of a sudden that video gets 50,000 views, 100,000 views. And the mom or the parents are thinking, oh my God, look, this is normal. Like, this is so amazing. People love that we're having a family barbecue. And then all of a sudden, the reason why that video is getting a lot of views is because that video ended up on a website where sick people will share. Oh, if you go to minute 17, you could see the little girl in the bathing suit. I cannot. I could absolutely not. This is like a super shocking and sad reality of like the world we live in. I wish the world was nothing but good things. And, you know, I could say to myself, yeah, like whatever I'm going to share with my baby, it's going to end up being positively used. And it's not going to be like, sec it's not going to be something that I have to worry about. But honestly you guys all honesty my mom brain just does not allow me to share my baby online and be okay with the fact that somebody somewhere is gonna be seeing that video seeing that picture that i share without thinking anything bad of it like i might share the video of my baby being cute and like with cute outfit and thinking that somebody might take that and think to themselves oh my god this is so attractive literally disgusts me and it makes my stomach turn
it makes my stomach turn. I cannot think, like, like I can't think about it. I will literally cry myself to sleep forever. Obviously, I can't control the way people see the content because I can't control the whole world. The one thing I could control is how much I choose to share of my kid, right? Now, I'm sure you guys have seen, obviously, it is really hard. This is my full-time job. I vlog my life. And so it's been really hard and challenging to only vlog when I'm not with the baby or share things that don't have to do with the baby. Obviously, when you're a new mom, all you want to talk about is your baby. And my life right now is consumed by being a mom, you know? But if people are here to watch me and then my baby so happens to be in the background or my baby comes out in a small clip, that's normal, you know? Because we are just... Like, he's part of my life, you know? So there have been times where my baby has been... He has came out on my videos, obviously. But if you guys have noticed, I don't really share a lot of details of his life. Like, I didn't share the time he was born. I didn't share how much he weighed. I didn't share how long he was. I didn't share... Um, like anything that has to do with him, like any medical stuff with him, like I haven't shared when I take him to a doctor or when I go to for his checkups. I haven't shared when, um, you know, like if he's having a hard time with certain things or if he's having meltdowns or anything like that. Because to me, I think outside of, you know, like what we talked about in the beginning of the video, I also think to myself, he's my baby, but he is a whole human being, a whole human being who's going to grow up one day. And I know it's hard to think about it like that because obviously he's a tiny baby right now, but he's going to grow up one day and he's going to look back. And I don't know if he's going to be upset that I shared all these things about him, that I shared him like, oh, eating a funny food or him having a meltdown or him like hysterically laughing. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to give my baby and my future kids the opportunity to show themselves how they would want to online. To have the liberty to say, I want this share, I don't want this share, I am this person, I'm not this person. Because at the end of the day, right now when he's a baby, I'm making those decisions for him to say, oh look, here's everything. I'm going to show you guys his every day, every, all the time. Like I'm going to show you everything about my kid. And then what if he turns 13, 14, 15, and then he's like, mom, I hate that you did that. Mom, I don't like that you did that. Like, I, would, I wouldn't want, I would not be okay with myself, you know? Okay, this is the finished makeup look. Now, here are my closing thoughts, you guys. I don't know if there's ever going to be a time where when SJ gets older, if eventually I'll start showing him. I will say it's getting harder now because obviously he's not just like a little tiny baby that just sits on my chest on his baby carrier like now he's curious he sees the camera and he wants to see it he wants to grab it um obviously i'm with him all the time so it's really hard to film when i have him with me and i don't want to show him so i don't know if he's ever gonna be like i'm gonna continue to make my content organically but as i do that i will say obviously he's my kid and he's with me all the time so there might be times where he comes out a little bit more there might be times where he comes out a little bit less and i know that the boundaries might change because obviously it's not like i don't know like everything is forever changing I will say any decision that my husband and i make regarding showing our baby online the content will never be about him. Like, I don't want my content to be centered around my children, my child or my future children. I don't want to be the type of mom that is like, oh, today we went to SJ's doctor's appointment and they told us he weighs this much and this is what's going on with him. And, you know, like just putting information out there about him that he's honestly too young to consent. And I know as babies get older, like one can see that he's trying to grab the camera and trying to be in the shot and think, oh, see, like he's trying to be in the video. Oh my God, that's so cute. But in reality, I don't know how old a kid has to be to truly understand what it means to be online and what it means to have your video taken or to be online talking about certain things, you know? 
there's just in my mind more negative things that come with showing my baby online than positive things like i know you guys want to meet him and i know you guys want to know about him and i know that the majority of people don't do it with a bad eye like the majority of people are very like they want to see him because they love me and they want to see the kind of baby i have and how i parent him and stuff my job is to take care of him and my job is to provide for him and my job is to make sure that i'm making the best decisions that i know for him so when this information came across to me and i realized how evil the world could be i just I am doing everything in my power to protect them as much as I can. So when you guys are curious as to why I don't show my baby or my future babies, that's why. I'm just trying my best to protect my baby and I'm trying to make the best decisions that I can with the current information I have. Maybe in the future it'll change. Maybe I'll share a little bit more about him. Like I do share like holiday pictures. I posted our Halloween picture. I'm probably gonna post our Christmas pictures. Like it's not like I'm keeping him a secret, but I'm just trying to protect him as much as I can because you just never know who's watching and you never know what kind of, like what way they will take what you innocently put out there, you know? So I have to go film the podcast. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me for a little bit. That's gonna be it for me. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know. I know there's a lot of moms who don't even have social media public like that. Like they don't, like this is not what they do for work and they still have chosen to not show their kids online. And then there's other moms who are genuinely like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know why you don't show your kid and that's okay too. So definitely let me know where you stand down below in the comments. I would love to hear your opinion. That's gonna be it for me. Les quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Quiero mucho, respeto más. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.